Okay, so squad, welcome to the kitchen. The first thing we're going to do is that I'm about to cut up my cabbage. What are you guys having for dinner? The day is Sunday. Do you use these parts? I do. I'm just sitting to the side. I cut off the this part. I cut off this part right here. Mm, I cut this part off so I can lay my cabbage flat. And then... And I always use my knife with red juice. It's called a bread knife. This is the best cut knife that I have. Hope I make you guys dizzy. <laughs> and I only use one cabbage because I need those cabbage shrink. Everybody in my house do not eat it. And that's including me, the girl. But I make stuff because the family like it. That is a slow Sunday. A slow, slow, slow Sunday. So what's on the menu? Mac and cheese. Cabbage. And um cornbread. I don't do this block. That piece, that inner piece. So I'm like, oh, it's a waste. I don't do that. Never did. So what's on the menu? Um, fried chicken. It's been a minute. When I say a minute, I'm saying Christmas. But besides, you know, my son got his own YouTube channel. Y'all go check out my son Michael's channel. His channel is called Amateur Cooking Guy. Um, it's going to be in the link below. He plays the videos up twice a week, guys. He knew, and he got some new up, some new exciting upcoming videos this week. Remember, make sure you guys got that bell on. Make sure you guys got that bell on. Y'all can see I ain't the only cook in the well, I thought I was the only cook in the house. I'm not the only cook in the house now. Amateur cooking guy with it. You know, he's doing his thing. I'm proud of it. Hit that bell. I'm going to rinse my cabbage off. I'm going to put it on. Matter of fact, got this right here. Comment below what you eating. My son sing that song so much. I'm about to sing it in. We eating for dinner. My mother always said, hey man, I need a cabbage. A cabbage cutter. A cabbage cutter. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up, my mother can make some bomb. Oh, I drop cabbage on the floor. I'm up, I'm, hey, you ain't cooking me making some type of mess. I'm going to make some bomb cabbage. A bomb, 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 bomb cabbage. And, yeah, guys, how you know you don't eat it? Everybody loves it. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm finished cutting up this cabbage. And when we come back, it'll be on the stove. I'm going to let you guys see me season it and do all the good things I want to do to her. And my, I don't know, there's no method. You know, you're cutting it wrong. There's no method. I just cut it up. No method to my madness. All right, let me finish cutting up the last little bit and get this on the stove. Okay, guys, my cabbage is on. And let me know, I'm seasoning it with a little bit. I do the top first. Onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. My mom's favorite. Yeah, I don't like that much of it. Season, oh, some seasoning salt. And I use a tiny bit, a little bit, a complete. And what I do is that I'm going to stir it up, let it cook, cook down, and then I add in my pure butter, a little bit of sugar, and some more seasoning after I taste it. And also, I got my water on right here 
for my macaroni. So once the macaroni get the ball, and I'll show you guys how I put that together. But you guys know it's a ball, not a recipe. Look, y'all. DC. Another winter wonderland on a Sunday, the 17th or the 16th. What's the day? Sunday the 17th. I'm in here cooking this Sunday dinner vlog. Another winter wonderland in DMV. It's supposed to snow all the way to Monday. Monday the snow. Comment below what your weather's like on this Sunday. January the 7th, 16th. I get the date right. I believe it's January the 16th, Sunday. Because <laughs> I'm in here cooking dinner, y'all. And what you doing? You're chilling, you're cooking, enjoying family. And it's cold outside. You can barely see the snow, but look what it right towards the light. It's coming down. It's thin. But it's accumulating. Back to our Sunday dinner vlog. There go my noodle. And there's my cabbage cooking. I'm about to give me a spoon. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> give me a spoon. To stir it up. I'm going to find one. Oh, I got a pack of wooden spoons I need to open up. But until then, mm. let that cabbage cook down. Let my macaroni noodles cook. All right, y'all. Y'all know my the sauce systems are automatically come on. My noodles is done. Now. I'm making my roux with some butter. Let me get my flour. Okay, I'm going with the silver tea flour. Y'all, I'll be back next month. Ooh. It must be Eagle Pots flour. Eagle Pops butter. Y'all know I eyeball everything. And you're gonna let it stir it for like two minutes or so so that you won't have that flour taste in your salt. And this is how I make my um, roux for my um, macaroni and cheese. I use my flour because it's already seasoned and you don't have to season your mac and cheese at all, guys. <clears throat> I got my soul turned down really low. If you want to cook the flour all for a good minute or two. About two cups of milk. And by that's doing what it's doing, I'm gonna go get my cheese, which is my Bell Beatus a Cobra Jack mozzarella, and get it ready for the pie. I'm just making a 16, 16 ounces of macaroni. That's one box of macaroni noodle. So I don't need a lot of cheese sauce. I'm going there with my Velveeta's. I already pissed my mozzarella in there, y'all. And this is a 32 ounce of Velveeta cheese. And I'm going to use some half. I'm only using half. 
And to that, I like Kobe Jack. I'm gonna add about a cup of Kobe Jack to this. Like a half bag. You get like two cups in here. I'm gonna let my cheese sauce come together. It's quick, it's simple. There's nothing to it. Put it on low and let it melt. Okay, guys, these are my noodles. Now, I love this pot set. I never put it in the oven before, but it said to go in the oven. Uh, this is one of these pot sets I got a long time ago do a um, sponsorship video. So, I'm gonna see. Got my butter. Oh yeah, my macaroni and cheese, y'all. It's not for nobody that's on a diet. I'm just gonna let you know that right off top. You better act like you know. <laughs> Everybody who get this recipe, they love it. I gotta get my hands on some little more pans, y'all. It was out. So, when I go back to the store, get my next Costco delivery, I'm going to get my hands on my pans. I want it to cool down just a little bit more before I add in my two eggs. Because I always add cheese. Don't get me wrong, I got another one. I always add some extra cheese to the Gotta save some for my spread on top. But knowing me, I probably got another Kobe Jack in the um, refrigerator. And I just mix that up in there. Macaroni and cheese is simple, it's easy, it's not no big giant secret because I done put it all over the internet. But for some reason, I never do my macaroni um, the same way twice. I didn't, that original macaroni and cheese that everybody making love, I don't even make it like that no more. I had, I improved it with flavor, with even more flavor. This with the more flavor. And this is gonna cool down, I'm gonna give this another 10 minutes and I'm gonna add my eggs to it. And then my sauce will be ready. And this is going in the oven. My cabbage is already ready. And this will go in the oven and I'm gonna fry that chicken. And Sunday night dinner is served. Remember, what are you cooking for dinner tonight? And don't forget about my sour cream, y'all. You gotta have sour cream, macaroni and cheese. You gotta, 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 gotta. I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes, then we gonna add the eggs. All right, y'all, since I'm only making a 16 ounce, if I make a big giant um, mac and cheese, I use about four eggs. I'm only using two today. And this helps. A lot of people don't put eggs in their macaroni and cheese. If I don't have the eggs, if I don't have eggs in the house, I'm not gonna go buy none because mine's come out really good with or without the eggs is that I have always been taught but use them eggs, y'all. But um, mine's come out good with or without the eggs. But yeah, if I got the eggs, I'm gonna put it in my mac and cheese. So I'm gonna stir that up real good in there. Look at it. And that cheese sauce and sour cream is going to put it all together at the end. The noodles are nice. They're not mushy. Are they nice and fluffy? Not overcooked. That's how you want your mac and cheese. Okay? Let's check on the cheese sauce. All right, guys, the cheese sauce is ready. I might have made too much. I'm going to pour some of the time and let it stir. And at the end, add in my whipped cream. Oh, I said my whipped cream. Oh, not whipped cream. <laughs> 
at the end, I'm gonna add in my sour cream. Oh, this thing heavy, y'all. Cause I don't wanna make too much of a mess. So that's why I'm just doing it just like that. Mm. Creamy macaroni, y'all. I made just enough cheese sauce with the half a thing of um, Velveeta and like maybe two cups and two cups of milk. Like I said, I be eyeballing. I haven't made homemade macaroni and cheese since um. It don't seem like a long time to them, but my family, y'all, they since the holiday. They be pushing it. Mom, when you gonna make some macaroni and cheese? I'll be wanting to make it tired of it. You know? I'll be wanting to make it all the time. And you see the green? Because I got my flour. So they got what? Parsley in here. I use my flour as a roux, but my flour is a seasoned flour. It tastes very, very good on macaroni. I'm trying to use all my cheese sauce. I don't want to be none the way. And in she goes. Like I said, when my kitchen get hot, y'all, my sauce fan on my um microwave come on automatically. So there we go. Now there it is. That's why they come to my house for macaroni and cheese. Let me get what. My sour cream ready. I'm only gonna use a half a cup of sour cream because this is only uh, um half. But I'm giving the event. I'll make do this mac one cheese times two and a big aluminum pan. Then I would use a whole 16 ounce. But for this, I'm only using that now. It's a half a cup. Y'all, this is a blow. So no. Ain't no uh, <laughs> ingredients gonna be in the be in the in the uh, description on this mac. This is just my Sunday dinner bowl. I get this sour cream stirred up in there, nice. I got my oven on 365. Well, I just turned it on. It ain't ready yet. It's preheating on 365. And then we gotta do what? Just fry that chicken. The cabbage ready. I did say I was gonna put a cornbread in the oven, but you think the meal incomplete without the cornbread? I might go ahead and put it in the oven while I'm not going to cheese cooking. Not nice to get that up in. I'll be back. All right, guys. I had to go do something real quick. So I finished stirring this up. It's a white on camera, but trust me, it's cheesy as double H E hockey sticks. Mmm. And they won't get this fire for another month. I try to make this once a month. That's it. In between, they be doing their own thing when it comes to macaroni. Uh, this is good. It's creamy. A little 375. And yes, this is going to spill in the oven, but guess what? I put full in the oven to prevent that. Top it with my Kobe Jack. And believe it or not, I make macaroni and cheese. So I don't use a three cheese. <laughs> a three cheese blend. Three cheeses in my macaroni. When you got gold, gold people use some five or seven cheeses. Man, if you know how to cook, Man, you can take any cheese. 
I mean, I any good cheese and make macaroni cheese. I use three cheeses and I'd be making the bomb macaroni. Yes, I will toot my horn. And maybe it could be somebody else's macaroni cheese better than mine. I get that. But guess what? I'm here to tell you, you taste my macaroni cheese, you'll be like, can I buy some? Can I buy some? It's like, <laughs> so it's going to the mood to play. All right. This is going in the oven. Like I said, she will be spilling over, but little four will be in my oven. Um, the cabbage done, the macaroni cheese done. I just got fried chicken. It's a plain, simple dinner, quick and easy. Hi, okay, y'all. My chicken's in that soap and cheese flour and a bag. Flour coming back in February, y'all. Fry some party wings. What's your favorite part of the chicken, guys? You don't want to overcrowd the pan and spacing them out, shaking the chicken off into your bag. So too many pieces are bring the temperature down. When you fry chicken, you want to do that 350. I'm going for one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my chicken frying, y'all. chicken, macaroni and cheese, and cabbage, and the cornbread is in the oven. Comment below. What you guys cooking for dinner? Ooh, she got a beautiful voice. <laughs> okay, Soul Squad. Comment below. Mac and cheese is ready. Fried chicken, cabbage ready. This is what's for dinner. The cornbread. Oh, I've got the cornbread, man. I forgot the cornbread. But it's in the oven. <laughs> I gotta get the cornbread. Alright, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, hit that bell to be notified. What's for dinner in your house? But this was quick, easy, and simple. Go check out Michael, my son, amateur cooking guy, Tia, my sister, New Life Journey, and Soulful Tea Blogs, and Soulful Tea Food Channel. Right where you at. All right, guys, I am out. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It's a three-day weekend, y'all. Nobody ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Hit that bell to be notified.